How did it come to you that this uh, needed to be done? Well, uh, you know, as, as as everybody knows, we lost this pandemic, and, and it was. I was just thinking about it. One of me and one of my friends were talking about it, and so when we, when we were talking about it, I just all of a sudden was like, man, you know what? I want to. I want to do something for my tenants, you know. He's like, yeah, that, that'll be nice. He's the one that helped me get to apartment name Earl with them because he, he, he's a realtor around Memphis, so he's in Houston. And um, so after that, I called my business team, and, you know, we talked about it. They were like, man, that would be love. And um, after that, I called my management team, which manages my properties in Houston. And, you know, we went back and forth a little bit because, you know, whenever you got a farmer, you know, they, you know they, the management team is to look out for us money you make there, what you're going to need the future, stuff like that, et cetera. But for me, I was just telling them, like, look, if we wanted to stagger this thing, we could. That would be fine to Danny Yaggy say, but these people need this right now. Like, this is not a, this is not something that just, Amen. we just all, we knew it was coming. And it, just ha- it, it just happened just right away. So I'm like, they need this right now, and I'm ready to do it by April and May. You know, they were like, well, okay, it's your call. And I'm like, yes, it's my call. Uh, I'm, I don't. I don't need no advice on it. I will. I know that if I, I don't. I don't want to not take your advice. But this, this to me is bigger than that. So that was my way of doing it. And you know, I just, I just felt the need that you know, it's like you said, like we, it's it, 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 this thing. This, this is a thing that everybody, like I said, everybody's in this together. Like it's not just one person, that person, this person. Man, it's, it's all of us in this together. Everybody's losing money, all businesses are suffering. So for me, it was like, look, this is about people that, you know, there's people out there that don't even have a place to sleep at night. That's right. You know, That's so right. for me, I looked at it different. You know, I'm like, man, I've been safe, I've been blessed, I've been uh, been able to make a great, great living for myself. So, you know, the least I could do is do something like this to me. That's how I looked at it, and I was like, man, I'm all in. Well, Michael, we're very, very proud of you, very grateful. And, uh, you know, uh, please tell your family that we're grateful that they kept you grounded. And, uh, but I know that uh, the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, so uh, we're grateful for your, okay. your parents. Yes, yes, yes. Michael, yes. thank you so much. Kids, so, you know. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Thank y'all for honoring me. I appreciate it. Well, yeah. thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, George. Thank you, Michael. Mm-hmm.